The Weed of the Week is sponsored by the Enlist Weed Control System from Dow AgroSciences, a new herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate. You work to protect your farm's legacy and to keep it going. Introducing the Enlist Weed Control System, an advanced herbicide and trait system that will build on glyphosate for exceptional control of tough weeds. The next chapter begins. Our weed of the week is red root pigweed. Now this weed is a little bit different. Darren and I were debating off camera a little bit. Darren said, well, why is red root pigweed not becoming resistant to Roundup when the other pigweeds like Palmer and water hemp are? And I said, Darren, who cares? The point is we've got resistance issues with water hemp. We have resistance issues with Palmer pigweed. Let's just be thankful that we can still control red root pigweed today anyway with Roundup. Maybe next year we'll start to see some resistance there too. So I'm not too worried about that side of things. All I know is that red root pigweed is a hairy pigweed. It's something that we see on most farms around the country and we still have a lot of good options for control in many different crops both pre-emerge and post. Well, this is one of those weeds that for my kids when I'm showing them how to identify weeds. You know, they just like going out, pulling weeds up and taking a look at them, trying to figure things out. And when you have that well, Darren, pinkish if you didn't red... Well, so, Darren, if you didn't have so many weeds, oh, then uh, they wouldn't now. have this fun. Come on now. You have this <laughs> pinkish red root. And so that's pretty easy for them to understand. Oh, okay. I understand why. But, you know, with red root pigweed, it's very similar in control to the other pigweed species weeds, other than that Roundup still gets it. We need to start with a pre-emerge herbicide program in any crop. And let's start with soybeans. For soybeans and pigweed control, we like the three pre-emerge herbicide approach. So we'd start with one of the yellows like Treflan, Sonlan, or Prowl. Then we'd put one of the PPOs in like Authority or Valor. And then we'd follow up by also putting in some Metribuzin. So we get, again, three different sites of action that all work on pigweeds. Okay, so fortunately post-emerge, Roundup still works. Liberty still works. There aren't a lot of great options in soybeans post-emerge. Flexstar would probably be the best. Now, really late in the season, you'd most likely have to go to Cobra if you don't want to worry about the carryover risk that Flexstar has. One of the cool things, though, about red root pigweed is something Brian touched on earlier. It actually is a very hairy plant, so we can stick more herbicide on easier than we could on a water hemp or a palmer pigweed where they have smoothly. All right, so real quick, corn pre-emerge, what would you do? Well, I like Verdict a lot. I also like Sure Start and Triple Flex. They do a pretty nice job. Balance Balance anything, flex might be the best, though. Anything with balance flex in it, though, is very good on the pigweed species. Okay, post-emerge corn. I like status, but you could also use Callisto Lotus Impact. They do a decent job. All right, pre-emerge wheat. I would like sharpen the best, and then post-emerge, I would use husky, but I'd have to bump that rate up just a little bit, so I'd probably go with a high-end rate on husky. Well, once again, our weed of the week is red root pigweed. Fortunately, it's not resistant to Roundup yet, but who knows what the future holds. Well, that's it for our weed, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.